Right, ladies and gentlemen, hello. Mark is going to do a demonstration now on Turbo Fourth, which is in the uh, TI format, and I'm going to hand it over to uh, Mark to uh, carry on and uh, do the demonstration. Okay, Mark. Hi, hello everybody. You know who I am, so I won't waste any time introducing myself. But from uh, to say I've been involved with TI for quite a few years now. It's got a few old friendly faces here. It's nice to see you all again after all this time. Uh, I thought I'd spend a bit of time just showing you uh, what I've been up to for the last oh, uh, 18 months, two years maybe, uh, on and off. Um, this is a, a fourth compiler uh, and interpreter for the TI. The intention is it will run as a plug-in cartridge on the original hardware and it will also be available as uh, files for an emulator. It already runs in Classic 99 and MESS and in Win 99 4A without any problems. In fact, the only problem at the moment is running it on the real hardware, <laughs> but I'll, I'm sure I'll fix that soon. Um, the project came about through my investigations of the TMS 9995. I have some old 9995 processors uh, sat in a drawer in my house and I wanted to do something with them. I also have a video processor that I wanted to do something with. Uh, so I decided I would build a circuit, uh, a small breadboard computer. Of course, if you build yourself a computer, you need something to run on it. And uh, writing an operating system from nothing is quite a big job. That led me to do quite a lot of investigation on the internet as to what would be the most economical uh, operating system or kernel to bring up a system from nothing. And those investigations led me to Forth. And the more I investigated what Forth is, uh, which is quite difficult to describe, uh, but the more I realised just how clever it was. Um, um, how small it was and how easy it, it actually is to implement. It's just uh, so easy uh, to write a fourth interpreter. It's actually six lines of machine code. That's it. Um, <clears throat> so I became, uh, I became rather interested in the idea of, uh, of doing a, a fourth for my, uh, my homebrew system. Of course, that led me on to thinking, well, why, why just do it for my own system when I can do it? Uh, oh, I just want to uh, get this back. When I can do it for the 4A, especially when the 4A has the same instruction set as the 9995, so it becomes a very easy way of debugging and proving my system before I try out my own homebrew kit. Two years down the line, the 9995 processes are still in the drawer underneath my bed, but the software's here, and I've just been enjoying learning all about Forth and implementing it on the TI. So what I'd like to discuss is, 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 is what Turbo Forth is, we've already really covered that, the Forth language itself, how it's going to be available, the features. Um, where we are at the moment, and then obviously if you've got any questions, well, you can just ask at any time, really, don't, want, don't worry about it. Um, so, fourth is a, a fourth 83 compliant. There are various uh, four standards that um, some of you will probably be aware of. There is an ANSI fourth standard. First one was the fourth. Uh, standard was ratified in 1983, and there is a uh, there is a later one. Um, F83 mandates pretty much 16-bit uh, architecture, so uh, it fit very nicely. Um, it's what's known as an indirect threaded code um, implementation. There are various ways of implementing fourth compilers. Uh, indirect threaded code means simply means that your your compiled program is simply a thread of addresses. They are not instructions, they are just addresses. And then an interpreter 
walks this thread of addresses, reads those addresses, jumps to that address, executes the code that it finds there, and then goes back to the next one in the thread. So indirect threaded code. There are different uh, different methods. You can have direct threaded, uh, where you essentially lay down machine code. Um, but this, for our for our memory constrained machine, and for all memory constrained machines, this is uh, by far the most memory efficient, as well as giving quite a good, um, the performance hit isn't so bad. In fact, um, some of the, uh, some of the uh, tests I've done have, have shown that it's within 80% of the speed of assembly language. It's about 15 to 20 times faster than, say, extended basic without even trying. It's, it's quite quick. Fourth is a, a stack-based language. If, if, if you've done any programming in uh, C or, uh, or uh, extended basic, which a lot of you will be familiar with, you'll be used to calling a function and passing data into the function, obviously parameters. That, uh, that uh, notion does not exist in fourth. Data <coughs> is placed on a stack and then you call words and words expect to find the data that they need on the stack. They'll crunch whatever data that is they need to work with and they will leave their results on the stack for other words to pick up. This means that um, the, the way fourth code is, is written uh, is very different from any language you, you will have seen. Very different from basic, very different from Pascal, C, Assembler. It, it, nothing quite looks like it. It often looks like it's backwards because the parameters have to come before the words. And of course, when you take your data off the stack, you get it off in reverse order that you put it on. Um, so I call uh, fourth. Uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the programming equivalent of Sudoku. If you, if you like doing puzzles, uh, fourth programming is a bit like that until you have retrained your brain. We're used to procedural uh, top-down uh, languages and, and fourth isn't like that. It's a, what I call a horizontal language and it does require some reconfiguration of how you think. But uh, it does become easier as, as, you, as you get on. And I've, got some, I've got a little fourth sample here. Um, 40 column mode is uh, already supported. Uh, in fact the system comes up in 40 column mode. I hope to add um, 80 column mode uh, later on when I get more time to, to experiment. The MESS emulator, I've been coding this in the emulation environment, does support 80 columns and so does um, TI-994W um, for Windows, which is another emulator. Um, so when I get a chance, I will um, have a look at putting 80 column support in. 32 column mode is all, also supported. Sprites uh, used to find graphics. We can do the we can speech is already covered with the, uh, the built-in vocabulary from the speech synthesizer. Later on, I'm going to be adding um, the ability to speak any uh, speech at all uh, from raw data, uh, and it will be interrupt-driven so that the program will carry on running while the speech synthesizer is uh, working. In fact, we'll proof the code for that. Uh, there's no sound support as yet, but it's, it's quite simple to do. It's just a matter of poking the appropriate uh, sound registers. Um, this block I.O. is already implemented and um, working. Like uh, the original fourth systems of the 70s, 80s and 90s, the block system is cached. So when you load a block in from disk, it loads it into an area of memory, and they're all subsequent disk operations on that block take place in memory, not on disk. So it's, it's quick, it's, it's instant. It's only when you want to flush the data back onto disk that there'll be a, a delay while it, while, it, um, while it records it back onto disk. There's memory, there's space in the memory for six disks and they actually live, it took a, a bit of work, but the, the disk data all lives in BDP, which means that all of the memory in the TI is free for your program. In fact, uh, currently, 
Turbo Fourth only uses 888 bytes of CPU memory. So you've got over 31k of the 32k of RAM is free because obviously Turbo Fourth itself is sitting in the cartridge space. So uh, you've got more memory than say Extended Basic, and it's it's much more compressed language than Extended Basic. You get more in there for the same amount of memory. Question: You also can use a uh, printer. At, at, at this at this moment in time, you can't. But that's only because I haven't written the DSR routines. Okay. Um, I'm at the stage where um, memory is uh, cartridge memory space is an issue. Um, I've got pretty much all the features I want to have. I had to sit. I had to sit down and ask myself, what do features do I want when you switch the computer on? Um, which features is it okay to load from disk? Um, so I envisage, for example, printer support will be a feature that you just load a small library in from disk. It will, will take maybe two or three hundred bytes of memory to support uh, either parallel or serial printers. Yeah. These are my these were my goals when I was coming up with the original uh, concept of something for my 9995 board. I wanted something with fast execution speed. Um, the problem with, as we all know, with, with traditional basic interpreters is that every time they read a line of code, they have to translate it every time into machine code, and it's extremely wasteful. Here, uh, in uh, with Force, the, the, the uh, compilation penalty is taken at compile time. Uh, much like C or Pascal, there is a notion of um, edit time and compile time. However, the fourth is an interactive language, unlike C. Um, you write your code at the keyboard, just like you do in BASIC, and you can test your code immediately. There's no, it's not like Editor Assembler, where you write um, source code, save it, load an assembler, assemble it, try it, it doesn't work, reboot, load the editor, check your code. Yeah. There's none of that. You type your code in, you run the word, and it either works or it doesn't. If it doesn't, you can examine the code, you can recode it instantly, just like in basic. However, each time you compile it, it truly is compiled. So that when you execute it, it's purely a list of addresses. So it is, it is, it is very fast. Uh, I'll just explain the development cycle. It's quick. You have a, a built-in editor, just like in basic. Um, I wanted to provide a language that's still supported. Fourth is already, there are already uh, at least two, possibly three fourth implementations for the TI. But they're, they're, the, the people that wrote those packages have long since disappeared. We can't get support, we can't get documentation for some of these systems. So uh, I wanted something that uh, people can uh, ask me if they have problems or they need to know something. I'm the guy who wrote the code, so if I can't answer it, well, you're in trouble. Yes. So, and uh, minimal hardware requirements. This will run on a on a TI-99 4A with 32K. You don't you don't need this system if you don't want one. So as I say, Turbo Fourth is fast. It's 15 to 20 times uh, faster than Extended Basic. I say approximately 70% of the speed of assembly there. I think that's probably true. I've, some other things I've, I've seen it's even faster than that. Uh, that's that's because most of the most of the code in I can show you the source code later if you're interested. Fourth is a strange language. Um, it requires very very little bootstrap code. And once you have a minimum, what I call a nucleus of fourth code, uh, sorry, of assembly code, you can then write fourth in fourth, which is uh, quite sounds quite strange, but it's, it's actually true. Um, and most systems like Fig Fourth, for example, the fourth, the, the system that came out in 1979 by the fourth in interest group, Fig Fourth, is a very minimal 